I always just, you know, hunted them and put them in the freezer and hung them on the wall. I mean, I always loved them. Uh, to me, God has never created a more beautiful or majestic creature than a white-tailed deer. This one I named Patience. And I usually name my deer um, after I have them a while. After I, They all have their own unique personalities and they all have their own little quirks. And I usually name them based on you know how their personality is developing. If a fawn is placed by her mother, say like at the edge of a yard, and somebody sees them, somebody can walk right up to that fawn and pick it up because that fawn, it's bred in them from right the time they're born not to move. And that's what happens sometimes when, uh, like Patience, when she was found on the schoolyard over there at Red Mill elementary school she'd have probably been better off if they just left her alone but people don't know that so after several hours they picked her up and brought her in called animal control and by then the the whole thing was discombobulated and animal control went ahead and brought them to me because you know they thought maybe the mother not be, might not be able to find them again yeah it changed your perspective um, I've lost all my self-respect is a redneck. Um, I have to depend on my buddies, my redneck buddies, to keep me supplied in venison. And they do. They do a good job of that. But ever since I raised that first little orphan f buck fawn seven seasons ago, they've had me so twisted up I haven't been able to pull the trigger on one.